it's crazy because we've been here a long time. With Central announcing Sheldon Farrell as the next head football coach, it signaled the beginning of one era and the final chapter of another, as now former head coach Reggie Trotter saying goodbye to the city he's called home for more than half of his life. 27 of the last 30 years has been a Trotter at Missouri Western, so we've been associated in St. Joe for a long time. Trotter came to Missouri Western as a football player in the mid-1990s, sticking around to coach, leaving for three years before coming back to the Griffins from 2005 until 2016. It's the, the family bonds between our staff and the players that we coach. We would always take a kid's picture. We've had all these great families uh, that Coach Partridge brought together, and we're still all relatively close. Trotter spent a lot of his adult life at Spratt Stadium coaching some Missouri Western greats on some of the best teams in program history. He's been like a second father figure to me, um, always had my back, uh, always told me the things I didn't want to hear and the things I needed to hear. Um, you've always been in my corner, and uh, I truly want to thank you for that. Just the way that he was able to teach me how to treat others and, you know, be thankful on a day-to-day, -day, man. And uh, I'll never forget that, and uh, I'm definitely appreciative of him. Now, while football consumed a lot of his time at Missouri Western, Trotter made a lot of time for someone else, too. I heard you got engaged this spring. Yes, I got engaged this spring. Really? What's Who's the lucky Bagley person? in uh, January. Oh, excuse me. Who's the lucky person? Jen Bagley. Jen Bagley, the softball coach. I asked Jen out to dinner. I was late. And... Uh, <laughs> I was late, and um, so, but it didn't deter her from actually liking me, so that's good. Uh, but I, I, you know, I found a partner in, in my life that will help me, will help help me develop my kids. Marrying Jim Bagley in 2012, the Trotters coaching at the same school while raising three kids too: Camille, Quentin, and Zoe. The first time we were hanging out with the kids, and the kids liked it. Trotter's coaching career at Missouri Western ended in late 2016. He had opportunities outside of the area to coach, but he wasn't going to leave his kids. So Trotter volunteered at Central High School for one season before taking over the football program in 2018. Dave did a good job of trying to recruit me over here. You know, he, he talked to me several different times, uh, but I wasn't ready to take make that jump yet. And, you know, the, the opportunity presented itself and uh, I went at it full force. Taking over a program going through constant change, never easy. Trotter marked the fourth head coach in four years. There were some growing pains and tough stretches for sure, but Trotter didn't waver in his coaching, and neither did those with him. I've been able to coach with some incredible men to help navigate this whole thing. From Marcus Thompson, who played for me out of Western, was here at my announcement when I got the head job and offered to come and coach with me that day. You know, and, and that, that means a lot. Central went from winning four games in four years to five and five and then seven and three in Trotter's final two, proving his system worked with the buy-in of the kids. He's taught me multiple life lessons, whether that was on the football field, whether it was just in personal life when I was hanging out with him and his family. He always made it very clear to me that I was a part of his family. He always treated me like I was part of the family. Thank you for everything you've done for me and making me a better man than when I first stepped into Central. Uh, these past three years have been really great with you as my coach, and I'm very thankful for it. Just like a Missouri Western, it's been more than just football at Central for the Trotters. All three of his kids went to and have graduated from the school, with Zoe finishing up in May. What up, Dad? Um, I just would like to start by saying thank you for everything that you have done for me. Our kids have been uh, nurtured here, in, not only in this building, but at, at Western and, and the people that we've had a chance to meet and it's been an extremely positive ex experience for us. His girls, Camille and Zoe, both playing softball, but by no pressure of dad or stepmom, Jen. Both girls had, had opportunities to continue to play at a high level. Zoe wanted to continue to excel. Camille was happy being where she was in her own lane. While Q, he followed in his old man's footsteps, playing football. And sure, not every day is easy with dad as the head coach. His junior year, he was really mad at me because he didn't start at quarterback. Well, he didn't win the job, you know, and that's something that, you know, you have to be, first of all, in my opinion, if you are the coach's son and you're going to start, you have to clearly be better. It is not, you cannot be kind of better. You cannot be, you know, the same. You have to be clearly better. You know, as much as I didn't want to hear it or, uh, you know, 
it, as much as it looked like I wasn't listening or anything like that, um, you know, you got through to me and um, I think I wouldn't be uh, where I am today if it wasn't for, you know, storing all that knowledge that you were dropping on me. Trotter watches kids grow up at Central, but he also made sure to make other kids feel like his own too. Yeah, I've seen you genuinely care about people that you don't know a whole lot about. Um, and I've seen people throughout the school really appreciate what you do for them by just saying hi. It's going to be different for the Trotters. Jen already at St. Thomas coaching softball in Minnesota. Reggie moving up now, Zoe heading to play softball there next year, Camille in college at Iowa, and Q with about a year left of school at Missouri Western. The family won't be under the same roof in St. Joe again, but the impact of almost three decades on the city won't soon be forgotten. We crossed paths almost 10 years ago. Uh, it's crazy to think about. Um, I always knew I wanted to become a coach, but after we crossed paths in the way that I seen you handle athletes and um, treat them like they were your sons, that's when I knew I truly wanted to become a coach. His family, kind of bringing my family in, and uh, yeah, man. So again, for Charter, I appreciate you, man. I knew that if I ever needed Reggie for anything, that he would drop everything, whatever he was doing at the time, and come to help me. This is a, this is a great place, and I think that people sometimes sell it short. But a friend of mine told me a long time ago that if allowed to be, St. Joe would be an incredible place. I hope that our family has been part of the reason why this could be an incredible place.